Hey friends, it's Tracy and Violet from Nova Scotia Living. Listen to that water, Violet. You can see down there, there's like a stream and it starts all the way up from over here. All the way down the hill. Oh, she doesn't want to go right now. Come on. Here. But today is Sunday. Medea and Evie and Cody are coming today. Well, I'll just show you. Look at that, Violet. They, uh, their plane arrives tonight, I think around 11 o'clock. So they won't be here till after midnight. They're renting a car. So I'm probably gonna sleep on the couch until they come because I'm not gonna be able to stand it but we got a lot of stuff to do today the kids have school this week so um, baths grades you know just all that sort of thing Violet you're not going for a swim so anyways I'll check you when we get back to the house <clears throat> last night was so windy look there's a, a branch not a big one but a branch. It was so windy, like super windy. I didn't know if I wake up to down trees. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna let her finish taking care of her business and I'll meet you back at the house. Oh, that coffee was delicious. Delicious. Anyways, I'm gonna go jump in the shower. I need to, I need to. I meant to have one last night, but I just got tired and went to bed. I'm gonna have a shower and, um, the kids are still in bed, still sleeping. So, yeah. All right, it's 9.04. I just had a shower. I'm greasy, like, from the cream. I'm going to take a Benadryl because I'm itchy. And instead of tearing myself apart, I'll take a Benadryl. I shouldn't get too sleepy because I just slept all night. So, and I got the wash going. After, I'm going to go upstairs and edit my yesterday's video. But then after, I'm going to open the bedding that I bought for the beds that Medea and Ev uh, Cody will be sleeping in. They're sleeping in bunk beds. <laughs> but um, I got new bedding for it. Nothing big and fancy, but new bedding, new sheets, new pillows. Um, I want to wash it before I put it on the bed. But I need to wash the stuff that's in the laundry room first. But it's 9.04. I'll go up and uh, edit that video. And then... We'll get on with the day. Violet, of course, took my seat. Thanks a lot. But, yeah, Mazaya's up too, so she had breakfast, and she's taking out her braids and stuff, so. All right, guys, it's 9.51. I got that video edited. It's exporting now. I just put another load of laundry in. I'm going to hang up some towels and a sweater. Then I'm going to open the new bedding and sheets and stuff. I didn't even look at it. I mean, I seen it when I ordered it, but it was the... It was on sale. It's not the color of the size room, but it's, uh, you know, the blankets we've had in this house have been for years, so it doesn't hurt to get a couple extra blankets. She can keep them in her room. And if she gets a new lime-ish color blanket for Christmas, she can put it on the bed that she sleeps, if you know what I mean. So, because it, for those that don't know, we painted her room a couple weeks ago, and it's kind of like a kind of like a limeish green so it'd be nice if her room had some extra accessories to go along with it if you know what I'm saying but anyways the bedding I got for while well, Medea and Cody are here or not they're like a blue color but they were inexpensive so I gotta go with that all right this box it's a big old box has been at the bottom of my steps for a month so I'm just gonna open it up and look at it is that book with me? Yeah, well, just to have fresh stuff on Mazzotti's bunk bed. When they come, I'm going to wash it today. She was hoping it was for stuff to wrap. It's not. And I got some memory foam layer things. They're up in my room. So I open. Okay. What is that? It's a comforter. It's vacuum seal in this. What? Is 
like the big cushy blanket that goes on top. Can I open one of the things? Yeah. I certainly hope it puffs up a bit. Yeah, so it's like that color blue on one side and this color blue on the other. And I got matching sheets. But I'll give this a wash and hopefully it doesn't fall apart. Wait, I do the big one? Yeah, it's going to be the same thing I just opened. I got two of the exact same. Here, you can open the. Well, can I open these both of them? What is this? That's sheets. Here, I don't need to show these guys. It looks like oh. they're blue, like that dark blue striped. It comes with a sheet, a fitted sheet, and a pillowcase. Should. It better. Um, We're running a five star resort hotel here, don't you know? You've got to have it all coordinated. Yeah, I know how to fold a fitted sheet. That's that one. But, oh, there's two? Well, that's what that is. I got one for the top bunk, one for the bottom bunk. No, but there's... there's yeah, well, there's one of these sheets and then one of the ones that... Oh, that's the pillowcase. Oh. And then a regular sheet. So these will go all in the wash. After that looks like Beetlejuice. It does kind of look like Beetlejuice. Only Beetlejuice stripes are black. Yeah. So. Now we can just light this box on fire. Fire No, I can make my thing out of boxes. What thing? Boxes like that, Mish. What do you need it for? You gotta give me a good excuse to let that keep kicking around the house. It's, I can't tell you. Uh. It's a present for you. Oh, is it a present for me? Yeah. Um, I just want to unfold them a bit so they're not. Be careful with that knife. Yeah, I was hoping to find lime color sets. That way that would be two birds, you know what I mean? It would match her thing. She can still keep these in her room. Um, but I didn't realize lime colored bedding is expensive. Like, it's not like the 20 some dollar sets. Expensive. So I wasn't going to double up on that, but there, at least this is opened. Gosh, move your hand, Misha, you're about to poke your fingers. Oh. Wait, what is it? What is it? You better not poke the blanket. I mean it. Okay, you don't need to do it all the way. You can get your fingers in there and tear it now. Freshness sacks. This is just like Amazon Basics. Wasn't like some specific brand. But yeah, don't mess with that. There. Excellent. Now I can throw this all in the wash when the other one's done. And 
yeah, we're, we're one step closer to get that room ready for him. Oh, and Medea messaged me. They changed her flight. They have a four-hour layover in Toronto, so they won't get in until around 1.30 in the morning. And they can't pick up their car rental till at least 6 o'clock in the morning. So she's waiting for a call back because she called them. She was like, there's an airport hotel. And I said, are they going to put you up in a hotel? She's like, I'm waiting for a, a call back. Don't. Hi. So that would suck. But, you know, they need to get their rental car and stuff. But just to bum around a hotel. It wouldn't be so bad if they didn't have Evie. But, of course, they're going to have Evie. They have to have Evie. But... You know, to entertain a child in the middle of the night at an airport where there's no place to properly rest is not going to be fun. So, if that's the case, they can pick their car up at 6. They probably won't leave there till about 7 because they probably have to register and set up the car seat and all that stuff. They could be here before lunchtime tomorrow. So, that way I can go to sleep like at a regular sleep thing and still get up and get the kids ready to school before they even get here. So, that's good. Ah, oh, that's one bright side, but anyways, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. All right, friends, I'm going to start putting this bathroom back together so I can give the tub another clean, and I'll put the shower curtain up, and I'm going to draw a bath for me so he can christen the new painted bathroom, be the first one to use it. All right, I cleaned the tub. I put the shower curtain back up. I put the shelf back on, and... Yeah. Oh, and I put the shampoos and stuff back there. So, yeah, I'm just drawing them back for Maze. That's that man I got at the dollar store the other day. And I have this Christmas shower curtain just to be festive. So, anyways, I'm going to get him in the tub here shortly. Alright, guys, it's 12.20. I gave the kids lunch. Oh, my face is still shiny. i got to put some more cream on. But, um, there's a couple of good garbage bags there. I went around and emptied garbage cans. I swept the landing. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I cleared off the cupboard across from the bathroom. Like, all the stuff off of there. Wiped it down. And Maze is bad. My husband's in the shower now. He's always eating her lunch. I'm using the left of the tenders and wedges did I just say that after my husband's done after she's done her lunch she's gonna have a shower I'll do her hair up but I am gonna go down uh, and um, fold some laundry because my husband's leaving today and some of his clothes from last week I washed while he was home Maze finish your lunch please and I got that to deal with. So stop jumping. He's out there. You can guess what he's watching. You know he's watching. Wrestling. So anyways, yeah. I'm going to deal with that. No, I didn't show them. Rosie, one of, we have three elves. Rosie has a crush on Otis. And that's my toy. That's my wrestling toy. I was going to use him today. I know, but she just has took a shine to him. There. He's giving Otis, she's giving Otis a big old hug. Oh, Rosie. You know Ginger's going to get jealous. Let alone Finnegan. Jeepers creepers. Woman. But I, don't, I didn't even know any of the main... Uh, Else, I only know Finnegan, and he just came in and like. Yeah, he did. Yeah, you never know I when they're gonna Rosie, show up. I called Rosie Penelope, and I called Ginger Wallace, but mm. I called Finnegan Finnegan. Mm. All right, I'll show you my beautiful piles when I'm done. All right, I got the piles. There's Mally's. That'll go right in this hamper because this is hers. Mazaya's, Marquise and Kara's. There's some towels. Misha took out all her clothes. She's folding them and putting them in a pile. Some matched up socks. Maze has an itty bitty pile. And I have a pile over here. And then this is my husband's. That's going to go in a suitcase. And of course some towels and face cloths and whatnot. He's leaving today. Yeah, he has to work tomorrow. So he's going to go up today. 
All right, guys, this is that hallway to nowheres. Remember I said, if you see my video yesterday, you seen what I was talking about. I'm on, I had cleared this out. I just swept it and I vacuumed it and got any cobwebs. This is Tamisha Mace's room. That's Tamale's room. I'm not showing your whole room. And I'm going to make a Christmas, uh, I don't want to say cozy, I don't want to say cave, because Misha's closet that she moved into is a Christmas cave. This can be a Christmas uh, hideaway, Christmas closet. All right, Christmas closet. But that green thing hanging up there is a uh, army cot kind of thing, and I'm going to set it up. It's going to be like a little lounge area, and I'm going to have Christmas lights around. So, yeah. My, this is the before. All right, my flash is on. So I hung this picture here. This was actually Medea's, but joy to the world. So on our left is Mally's room. And here it is. Let me get my flash off. All right, it's a curtain. Ooh, it's kind of fuzzy. I'll do it like this and then I'll do it with my flash on. I didn't try to make it uniform and all straight as a pin anything like that but there's one of these army cots now I'll turn my flash on oops all right so here's one of those army cots Maze and Misha are playing basketball but um yeah so joy to the world these are just clear I mean they don't get hot or anything there, a uh, sleeping bag, a couple pillows, and that's one of those table, laptop, lap, tables. You know what I mean? That the legs fold if they want to. This isn't for anybody in specific, just another hideaway because we're going to have a house full for Christmas break. And if somebody needs a quiet corner of their own, I might even use this. And it's not a door, but there is a privacy curtain. So. There we go. There we go. Our Christmas closet. It's all right. almost 17 minutes oh, yeah we did it quick all right I have that bedding all washed Mazai took her bedding off but before we put the bedding on I have this bedroom or you know like the memory foam topper so I'm gonna open this up and put it on her bed before we put the sheets on all right we got it out of the box and it came with this little thing you must have to use that little knife to cut open the package. I wonder if it's going to explode. No, you cannot cut it because I said so. All right, here's the first one. So I need to open the second one for the top bunk. All right, friends, it's 4.32. Mally's over at the table. She's making a bunch of deviled eggs. I said, do them all. But this is two packs of steak I took out of the deep freezer yesterday, the day before. 
so it's looking a little brown, but it's just because it's been frozen. It's fine. It's fine. So, just get a little oil. else to go with it for you yeah well it's coming you just opened a bag of chips back off avocado oil that'll do I can tell you I'm gonna eat the arse off of a bunch of deviled eggs now Tired, you know what I mean? I'm just tired. I'm certainly not drinking alcohol, but just that kind of like, oh, I've been going and going and going all day. Yeah, not right now, Maze. We're dealing with food. Get that around here. Get that around here. What? Nobody, it fell apart. I bought a cake yesterday, 50% off. It's my husband's birthday. Last chance, Bob. Last chance. Oh, just hold on a minute, guys. Anyways, yeah, I bought a cake yesterday. It's my husband's birthday on the 14th, and he's not going to be here because he's going to be working. So I thought he's leaving here in a little while. So after supper, we can sing him happy birthday and have some cake. So that's what we're going to do. It's a pre-made cake. It's a pound cake. Not as good as Mally's cakes, but I just thought out of convenience. This is just Montreal steak spice. I'm going to turn it down to like a seven. I don't want it screeching. Hot. But and then when I flip it over, I'll season the other side, and we'll be good. What are you doing? Just Montreal steak spice that has salt and everything in it. I'm gonna go put this out in the garden. Fine. Now like, are you sure not onion powder and garlic powder? I said fine. It's not going to hurt anything, but I'm not adding any more salt because, you know, that has salt in it. The Montreal steak spice. That was garlic powder. Ooh. This is onion powder. So there. Happy now? Yeah, we were just watching the Saturday Night Live, like my husband recorded it on the cable. Just watch that. I was half asleep. I should actually have a coffee, but should I have one, Maui? I can make you a hot cup of coffee. Yeah, do that. Well, after. After. So... Anyways, I'll be back in a bit. We're just going to fry this up. Some deviled eggs. I don't know. Like, potatoes would have been good to go with it, but I'm not doing that now. Should I open some vegetables or what? What kind? Peas and corn and 
peas, and corn, and beans. And carrots. And carrots. I'm not going to open all of them. Anyways, I'll be back. All right, I'm making myself a coffee. I, I really need one. Like, I'm falling flat on my face. Mally's already had to pick me up a couple times off the floor. <laughs> but, yeah, she cooked a whole bunch of eggs, and she seasoned them with onion and garlic powder, paprika. All right, some nature's best, and a few other, a few other things. <laughs> but it's going to be good. It's going to be good. All right, that steak's still going. This is the cake I got. See, part of it fell off, but it's just the icing. You can flip it back up. It's not a big deal. So, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So I went down in the basement. I got a thing of corn, a thing of peas, and a thing of beans. So I'm gonna pop the top of these. Just do those in the microwave. Mally's still working on that. I'm not getting your face. And oh, my favorite yes, but I'll show you yeah, the oh, and I just made a coffee. So I threw some water in here and put the lid on it for a little bit, but it's getting done, getting done. I know it's not the best way to cook it for some people, I'm sure, but I just want to keep it simple, and this is what I'm doing. All right, it's 18 after five, so there's the steak, peas corn, beans, deviled eggs. And baby, I had one and they are delicious. Let me tell you. All right, this one's Zoya's. Uh, three deviled eggs, some corn, beans, peas, and steak. Bon appetit. Things don't shoot that gun. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear dad. Happy birthday to you. Okay, you guys blow him out because he can't. There. Yay! <laughs> Alright guys, well it's 1024. I put the kids to bed a little while ago. Mazai's in Mally's room for the first night, even though Medea and those guys aren't going to be here tonight probably. Medea sent, did send me a message to say when they land in Halifax, they might be able to get their car tonight instead of waiting till 6 o'clock. Sometimes they stay open for late flights. So maybe they will, maybe they won't, but she's going to let me know. So I'm going to try to go to bed now, and I'll keep the phone close by. Because if she is coming, I want to set my alarm for a couple hours after that so I can be awake when they arrive. I can't stand not being here, or up and at them when they land. You know what I mean? Land here at the house. So, yeah... I forget where I left off. I'm sorry I haven't filmed, I don't think, very much today. But it was just that kind of day, trying to get prepared for tomorrow and um, everything like that. But the kitchen's all cleaned up. The dishwasher's going. I've done a mountain of laundry today, like bedding and bedding and clothes and everything. So, but, uh, oh, excuse me. That's all done, so that's good. There's one load of laundry that I just took out of the dryer that's just sitting in front of the dryer. I'm just, I'm done doing laundry today. Done. Done. But Madea asked if I'd make chicken soup. <laughs> and I said, yeah, I can. I do have, I took out two roast beefs from the freezer in the kitchen to defrost overnight. I was thinking I'll make a roast beef dinner tomorrow. But I'll just put those in the fridge and make that the next day probably, unless I make chicken soup and a roast beef dinner. I haven't decided yet, so we'll see. We'll see, but I want to end this video so I can start fresh tomorrow or later on in the early morning. I'll start one then, so yeah, yeah. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today. Anyways, and getting the kids ready for school tomorrow. Their lunches are packed. They're ready to rock. It's pajama day tomorrow. All this week they have theme days, 
tomorrow is pajama day so um, I have Mays. Mays had Christmas pajamas on today after his bath anyways but I have another pair to put on him when he gets up so they'll be fresh and the girls will will too I don't think high school does anything like that but yeah the elementary school does so that's fun that's fun so anyways I'm gonna say peace love and happiness today and every single day Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love ya. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, all right, guys. Well, for the most part, my house is tidied up. And I just don't have it in me to do anymore. So, yeah. But I do have <laughs> my drying racks full of towels and everything. But this is family life. This is what it's going to be. And uh, I can't wait for those guys to get home. I'm so excited. Dad even called me tonight just to see if I heard. So I'll uh, definitely be talking to him tomorrow. But All right, guys. With that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.